forces of Ukraine have already liberated more than 3,000 square kilometers of the territory of Ukraine by September 11th that had previously been seized by Russian invaders. The pace of advancement of the armed forces of Ukraine in the Kharkiv region has exceeded the expectation of even the Ministry of Defense of Ukraine, as been reported by Oleksiy Reznikov. And according to the President of Ukraine, this is the decisive stage of the war. We understand they are actually retreating in many directions. Here are people who know more details, which I am not allowed to discuss. But for us it is important to be stronger, to deoccupy faster, because we are not crabs and we cannot move backwards or sidewards. We should advance. The situation on the front lines is rapidly changing. According to the official information, Balaklia, Kupiansk, Shevchenkova, Volohivyar, Artemivka, Vasilenkova and Chkalovsk, Bayrak, Nova Husarivka, Shchurivka and Onkhovatka have been liberated in the Kharkiv region. And in the Donetsk region, the armed forces of Ukraine have deoccupied the Ozerna village. The list of these settlements is being updated. It is also known about the activities of the partisans in the Luhansk region. The Ukrainians are waiting for liberation. Thank God that we for now, for today, can already see that those Ukrainian flags are still fluttering, which the partisans raise quietly for now, only at night, at the administrative building in Kremina or on the electric grid pole in the Starobilsk region. This shows that the Russian invaders are really retreating. They are no longer interested in the Ukrainian flags. This suggests that collaborators are also afraid to take them down. And they also understand that punishment is inevitable. Western politicians and the military have noted the successes of the armed forces of Ukraine. That is, according to the former commander-in-chief of the U.S. Army in Europe, Ben Hodges, the Ukrainian offensive could become a foothold for the liberation of Crimea next year. And the experts from the American Institute for the Study of War claimed that since the beginning of September, the armed forces of Ukraine have liberated more territories than Russia had been able to seize since April. The head of the United States Department of State has also commented on the counteroffensive of Ukraine. Mr. President, uh, we know this is a pivotal moment. Um, more than six months into Russia's war of aggression uh, against Ukraine, as your counteroffensive is now underway and proving effective. Um, that is, of course, mostly a function of the incredible bravery, resilience uh, of Ukrainians. Uh, we see that on the battlefield every day. Uh, we're uh, so pleased that we've been able to support uh, your efforts and will continue to do so. Such a lightning-fast advance testifies both to the strength of the armed forces of Ukraine and the unpreparedness of the Russian invaders for the effective defense. In the early days of the counteroffensive, the Kremlin preferred to hush up a very fact of it. Now the Ministry of Defense of Russia has tried to present the flight of its military as a pre-planned tactic. In order to achieve the staged goals of the special military operation to liberate Donbass, a decision was made to regroup the Russian troops stationed in the Balaklia and Izum regions to build up efforts in the Donetsk region. The Minister of Defense of Russia has chosen the same course of action as after the liberation of Zmyini Island by the Ukrainian military. Then the defeat and flight of the Russian army was called in Moscow a gesture of goodwill. Reported by Diana Kolesnik, Danilo Kobza, UATV News.